Good morning! Hey, it's August the 10th, 2022, and welcome to Jake's Bounty! That's right, I'm here in my room, ready to do it again. So what the fuck, Wednesday? So let's do it. Alright, thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I am your host, Jake Hernandez. Uh, it is a nice and cool, comfortable uh, Wednesday. And uh, tell you about today, uh, first off, I want to thank the music today provided by moi. And uh, that was me from my uh, album Caterpillar, uh, which is also going to be released uh, this coming month, hopefully later on in the month. It's a solo EP that I did back in 2008. It's being remastered and all that good stuff. Uh, that was a song, the title track, Caterpillar. We'll learn more from it later on as the show progresses. Also, we've got our sponsors. We've got Mad Max, Fury Road over here, raised video, $1 seven-day rental, right? We still got uh, Dog Training for Dummies. We type in the word dummy, for five ninety nine at Jake's Bounty. And also the retro trivia challenges and puzzles game for the 70s and 80s. You also get that for five ninety nine. when we type in the word retro, and you also go to jakesbounty.com, all right? Well, let's go ahead and get into the news. We had some news over the last 24 hours. Woman severely injured. Um, this happened uh, at Hit and Run. Uh, Fresno Northeast happened at Bullard and Angus Avenues, uh, 8 p.m. Tuesday. Black BMW was driving recklessly, hit gray woman sedan, and then he took off. Uh, he's wearing uh, green shorts and a green shirt. So you see someone look like a leprechaun, <laughs> you know, go turn him in. No, I'm just kidding. Um, next bit of news. Teenage boy arrested in murder of 14-year-old girl. Uh, this happened in Orange Cove. A uh, 16-year-old boy was arrested in shooting uh, July 27th at an apartment complex on E and 8th Streets of Arceal. Arcelia Gutierrez uh, and her 19-year-old boyfriend, uh, that doesn't sound right, she's 14, or was 14, her boyfriend was 19. Hmm. Anyway, he was also injured, um, and, okay, and then the boyfriend, um, oh, okay, so he was also injured. Fresno police are pulling from a program uh, to test 4 a.m., so they're pulling out of that program, in case you didn't understand what I was saying. They want it to be in a pilot program, which would do uh, seven cities uh, that would try to do the 4 a.m. Uh, last call. I mean, this would be like 4 a.m. is your last call for alcohol. And um, Jerry Dyer was uh, okay for it, and a few other officials were as too, but then in the end, it was pulled uh, the last minute. Uh, it was taken off the list, so we'll see what happens next. Um, I think it's been um, proposed a few times that uh, bars stay up until 4, or the last call stay up until 4. We don't know. Um, many people think it'll just uh, have a spike in the increase of uh, alcohol sales, but also death and citations and traffic and whatnot. Uh, they've tried in other places and it's gotten mixed reviews, so it really does not uh, tell a point, really. It uh, goes back and forth, kind of. All right. New rule at Boulder High. All student cell phones must be locked away during school day. No! Uh, they will be locked away in a secured pouch uh, called the Yonder, which they can carry on themselves. It's just they can't open it. It won't be unlocked until... Uh, the hours of school are over and then um, see other schools have also had success in this and um, they're also in the Fresno Unified School District and so they're gonna have meetings about this it's not just gonna be like hey we're gonna do it, roll out you know see what happens they're gonna have many 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 meetings about this to see exactly what goes down All right. they say it's hopefully gonna increase education and they say when they teach, it's about 34 students in a class. 16 of them are looking at their phones through the whole class. So, yeah, something's got to be done. 
All right, and finally, inflation goes down but remains 8.5% uh, high. Uh, paychecks may be higher, but uh, it can't keep up with inflation. And I know that because my mom is telling me, oh, yeah, I'm making, you know, X amount of dollars, but it really doesn't matter because you need a cost of uh, living wage as well as just a regular raise, you know, to uh, even everything out anyway. All right, well, I um, want to go ahead and do tell you that it is What the Fuck Wednesday, and our What the Fuck story is right here, so why don't I just tell you about it? All right, Langia, new virus infects 35 people in eastern China. Hopefully it stays in China. <laughs> no more diseases. We already got monkey pox in the pandemic. Uh, the novel Langia Hennepavias was found in 35 patients in Sandong and Henan provinces. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Many had symptoms such as high fever, fatigue, and a cough. They are thought to have contracted the virus from animals. There is no such evidence uh, Levia can transmit among humans. Uh, research has detected uh, they are predominantly uh, detected in shrews. All right. So uh, this was uh, in China, Singapore, and Australia, uh, and evident in this month, all right? And so, uh, no need to panic, it says, right? No need to panic, although we've heard that when we heard the pandemic and the monkeypox, and should we panic? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Lei V is a type of Hanapa virus. Uh, category is zoonotonic virus, which can jump from animal to humans. All right, um, it has not also been found in shrews, but also rodents, bats, and even a certain percentage of farm animals and dogs. Damn it, we're screwed. <laughs> no, um, the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention said scientists estimate that three out of every four new or emerging infectious diseases in people come from animals. That's a good. It's a good way to know that, right? All right. Well, um, that's going to do it for that piece of news. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what kind of cans I got today on my excursion. I didn't start out very well. Uh, my first uh, little bit of uh, stop, didn't get very many cans at King's Market. I maybe got like a Dr. Pepper and a Red Bull. And then I went over to AMPM. Not much over there either. I got maybe one water bottle and I think maybe like a Snapple and maybe another like Pepsi uh, can. I went over to another spot, uh, the Motel 6 spot. Lately I've been getting more and more there because I think uh, a few truckers have spent the night there so I'll get their cans and their alcohol and whatever they leave behind. And then over at Valero, I did better than I you know, would have thought I did. And I was able to get a little more than half a bag. Um, and then I got some at McDonald's. And so all in all, I did pretty good. And I could be happy with what I got. And plus, it was nice, cool, and comfortable this morning. I didn't have to be like, oh my god, it's fucking hot. Um, yeah, so things were good, all right? Also want to tell you, um, thank you again for the views. And I've gotten a whole new subscriber. So up to 58 subscribers I want to get to 70 all right uh, I want to get to 70 before September uh, well even if I get 60 before September I'll be happy but anyway thanks for the views and thanks for the subscribes and keep it up and uh, I also want to tell you uh, about tomorrow tomorrow will be throwback Thursdays we'll have the news we'll have my bounty we'll have so much more um, let's go ahead and get into the uh, retro Trivia challenges book before we go and say goodbye. Alright, let me see if I can find something real easy. Like your mom. No, just kidding. <laughs> Alright, um, no, that one was already asked and I already know it. Okay, who was the only cast member of Dallas to ever win an Emmy for the show? Was it A, Barbara Bell Geddes, B, Larry Hagman, G, Jim Davis, or D, Linda Gray? Isn't Jim Davis the creator of Garfield? 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and guess and be B. Larry Hagman was the only one who ever won an Emmy for this show. The answer is A. B. Bell Geddes was nominated three times and won the Academy, uh, won the uh, nomination once. Larry Hagman, Jim Davis, and Linda Gray were also nominated but never won. Oh crap. Oh, well, well, hey, maybe you can get more of these answers right here at uh, Retro Trivia Challenges Answers and Puzzles for you guys for 70s and 80s. Get it at Jake's Valley and type in the word retro. All right, also get the dog training for dummies when you type in the word dummy. And uh, that is going to do it for us today. I um, want to say thank you for tuning in. And tune in for the TikTok videos coming up later on. And... Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And here I am singing Caterpillar. And uh, you guys have a good rest of the day. Jake's found with Summer Fornicator, Rosalberg, and Brush. Do that on the 22. Follow us on Facebook, 10 on the website. If you like and comment, follow us on Facebook.